What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be doing another episode of the series where I rate your squads. So, if you guys want um, me to have a chance to have a look at your squad, I will be doing 10 of these a week. Just tweet me with um, at DBGYT underscore on Twitter, give me a follow, tweet me and just put in hashtag rate my team. That's how I'm finding nearly all of these, I'm just literally typing in my Twitter name and hashtag rate my team and they are coming up. So, yeah. So pretty much I'm going to be rating the squad and then obviously making suggestions. So this first squad right here, he's got 13k left. Honestly, if I was to rate this squad at a 10, I would have to say, saying anything, it's very hard to make the perfect squad, but for that budget, if you are watching this, that is as close to it as possible. I'm going to say 9.5 out of 10, only not getting a 10 out of 10. Um, due to the fact that i i don't even know this i can't even think of a reason why not giving it a 10 out of 10 but and two perfect point guards per uh, four perfect wings um yanis blake great power forwards great centers i think maybe just chuck in three usable players at the end of your bench in case you want to use them so norman powell dante exum and I'm trying to use a power forward slash center that could be usable for a cheap price i don't know even porzingis or something just in case you want to use them i don't think that it makes too much of a difference but that's the only thing you, i know you're only running a 10 man rotation but it's always good in case player gets injured or if someone gets failed just to not use those three bronzes because they're not affecting the team overall at all at this stage and just use say seven of that 14k to just build the last three and other than that pretty much a perfect team so yeah, we've actually have one of our highest ratings so far in 9.5, especially for a non-absolute god squad. Um, and it's up there with top rating. So, pick and fades with Aiton, Iso with Yanis and Blake. So, you've got Yanis and Blake on at the same time. I don't know how well the two of them work together, especially because you've got, actually, Keith Van Horn. Evo will be Keith Van Horn quickly. That's what I would say, is try Evo him up quickly. you got one really good defensive point guard. I would always put a second defensive point guard in there. I would put in a, this is actually January the 8th, so Dante Exum was already out at this stage. Um, I would put in Dante Exum as one of your last three off the bench because if you are getting destroyed with Jamal Murray, Exum's in there for defense and Exum's also better than Lucius Allen. Um, Michael Cooper, I don't really know how I feel about that card. I think I would get rid of Michael Cooper and put in, oh, what was his name? He was out yesterday. Um, Andre Robeson's actually good at that role, but there was a card that was out yesterday that I've completely, completely forgot. A Ruby 2 guard, it just, it'll save you that little bit of MT because Mike Cooper's that, he's not cheap, but he's not expensive either. He's not expensive, but he's not cheap either. Um, Kerry Kittles, I would honestly put in Kerry Kittles for Michael Cooper, I think he's that little bit better. Um, Keith Van Horn is fine, just Evo him up. He does fine, Mirasan's fine. I'd say probably an 8 out of 10 because of the fact that you have one player on your floor without clamps. I can't really rate it above that and three bronzes. Literally put in Dante Exum and like that would be a uh, really good addition. Well, I would advise you sitting on your MT because it's only a matter of time until we get like basically an amethyst with clamps, quick first step, range extender, um, and as soon as we get that exact card, they're going to be worth, they're going to be like 10k MT and it's going to be as good as like a Kobe or a Vince Carter. So um, I would suggest you just wait a little bit. I think we might get a couple of perfect wings, especially for cheap. So we made this team here from January the 6th. From pick and pop slash roll on ISO or player, or ISO on player with no clamps. Yeah, like ISOing player on no clamps is the way to go for, way to go. Um, have around 800 to 900k, don't want to spend most of it. Okay, um, if you don't want to spend most of your MT, your squad is a 9.5 out of 10 and don't change anything. Being dead serious. <laughs> like, there's nothing that needs to be changed. You cover everything with your last three off the bench. You've got three elite point guards. You have got four elite wings that can all have clamps, all of range extender. Everyone but Hito is quick for a step, but Hito's got glitchy dribbling. Um, like, there's no, I can't make any suggestions. Like, the only suggestions I can make is, I don't know, like, replace Kobe with T-Mac to make it better. But, like, T-Mac's not worth the MT. I'd rather just 
I'd rather tell you to keep Kobe. So, I don't know, maybe swap Kobe for Vince. But, again, that's not really an upgrade, is it? Um, no, this is an almost perfect team. Like, I don't want to give... There are certain squads that I will give 10 out of 10 to. And this is as close as you can get to 10 out of 10 because this is perfect. There is literally, there is no other, there is no player that I would really suggest is worth you spending your MT on. So I'm going to say 9.5 out of 10. Like a 10 out of 10 team would be like, I don't know, Rose, T-Mac, Lamar Odom, Yanis, and like Bill Russell. And off the bench, I don't know, like Gilbert Arenas, um, Ray Allen or DeRozan, Hedo, um, I don't know, maybe Siakam, Embiid, Hakeem Olajuwon, any of those players with three great players around off the bench. Like, that would be like a perfect 10 out of 10 squad right now. This is very, very close with though. So, no need to change anything. Hey, people are out here running like really good squads. This squad is probably an eight. Considering how much MT you have, I would say this is probably about an eight out of 10. Um, like, yeah, I get it, you have Wilt, but come on, he's that he's a little bit of a liability. And also, as good an offense as Rashad Lewis is, he is a little bit of a liability on defense. What I would advise you to do is put in a Pascal Siakam just when you're last three off the bench. And if Rashad Lewis is getting destroyed, you can put him in, or a Lamar Odom to put in instead of Siakam. And Jimmy Butler is fine. I'm not going to tell you to get rid of him because he's really good. Rose and Arenas is the best point guard combination. Ray Allen and T-Mac might be the best 2-3 combination in the game. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Like Giannis is, uh, is the best four in the game. I I know you have Wilton Duncan locked in. But I would say... I wouldn't even say to go for Bosch because he's very expensive. But I would say probably go for like a... Instead of Wilt, go for an Embiid or a DeAndre Ayton. It makes it a little bit better, but oh, this is a fantastic team. Okay, so rate my team. Do mostly pick and pop, space to floor, take to the rim. Budget is a screenshot. Can sell a few extra players. Um, Jeff Petrie is greater than Jamal. Yes, he is, but I wouldn't use Jeff Petrie nowadays because too many players can expose non uh, quick free step players. Um, your your ones are fine. You don't need to change anyone at the point guard position. I would swap Hito with Lamar Odom because Odom's a better rebounder. Um, and Hito's, he might be a better defender. Actually, no, what I would do is I'd put Hito at the three and put Giannis at the four and Blake at the, and Blake at the user fours. So I wouldn't run, um, what's it? I wouldn't run with Giannis and Blake together. And I wouldn't run with Lamar Odom and Hito together because you got four non-range extender players in your bench lineup. What I would do is I would swap Giannis into your starters. Um, and I like McLaughlin. That is an interesting person to put in. You got a lot of offense players at the end of your bench. Like, you know what? This is a this is a 9 out of 10 team right there. And i just make that switch. I wouldn't swap anyone. Like, I don't think you get... I think for you to make a significant upgrade, you got to spend all your MT. And again, I wouldn't suggest doing that. So... Um, yeah, this is a really, really nice team. So, I wouldn't suggest you to really make any changes. Any changes, again, like, your changes would be swapping out your two guards. Basically, the only position you need to worry about is the two guard position. But to make any significant upgrade, you're paying at least 60, 70k. And considering the fact that Eddie Johnson's been price fixed so often, um, there's no significantly better ones that are really within the price range without completely blowing all your MT. So, no, um, a really good squad right here. And yes, Jeff Petrie is a lot better than Jamal Crawford. Okay, so, rate my team, not looking to spend any more MT. If anything, I'd like to sell some expensive players and replace them with budget players so you can hoard MT. That is a smart tactic. And the first player, if you are looking to hoard MT that you should get rid of, I'm sorry to say this, is Yao Ming. Um... He's the only player where you can get a significantly cheaper downgrade that isn't going to, um, like, it's not going to bust the bank, and it's also going to play well in a different way. Yao Ming does certain things really, really well. And considering the fact you've got Kareem, I'd say you like 
probably having somewhat mobile centers. I put in Embiid, um, sell Buddy Heald, and just get someone with clamps in. And if you're dead set on keeping a shooter, sell Buddy Heald and just pick up any old shooter. Like Jordan McRae is better than Buddy Heald. Um, Jamal Wilkes, I will never suggest you to sell Jamal Wilkes. He is like a better Norman Powell and he's only like 10K. Siakam's perfect. Um, I don't know if I'd use Siakam with the three, but he's a perfect player to have. Blake Griffin is really good. Rick Barry is good. Rick Smith's Jamarant is fine. Um, I'd say probably a, it's one of the weird ones. It's like, if you don't want to spend any more MT, I can't really give many suggestions, but it's probably like a, and 7.5 to 8 out of 10 maybe like i know i'm getting a little bit harsher but after seeing some of the squads i gotta be that a little bit harsher with grades so um rate my team hoping you rate the team um can't find many weaknesses one to four all of clamps go plus budget is 300k you're an ice to pick and pop um does jamal i'm 90 percent sure jamal crawford does not have gold clamps i am 90 percent sure so budget is 300k, you got 4k. All right, um, I'm not even sure that much. I'm gonna check it now. I'm not even that sure if Jojo has got, um, has got clamps, does he? Does Jojo have clamps? Because if he has clamps, he's a lot better than I thought he was. I don't know what you're talking about. Your bench, I'm pretty sure, has got not, does not have one clamps player. Um, sell David Thompson, he's terrible. Um, so I know you obviously can't sell Jamal Crawford. Sell JoJo. Um, you can get better alternatives for cheaper. Um, put in if you want. You have three hundred k. If you have three hundred k, um, get Rondo. But if it if it is BS and you don't actually have the MT, sell JoJo. Get Exum is better. As much as I liked, um, JoJo back in the day, he's got no clamps. Um. Your sell Carl Anthony Towns, you cannot get away with playing Carl Anthony Towns a power forward. And buy I don't even know at this stage who to buy. Um Jaron Jackson, even his um Amethyst can do a job. Sell David Thompson by Actually, what I would suggest is you tear it all down. Sell David Thompson, sell Will Chamberlain, sell Jojo White, sell Carl Anthony Towns. You got Jaron Jackson there anyway, which is good. Just saw that there. Um, and don't spend any more MT. Replace David Thompson with Norman Powell, who basically does the exact same job. Replace Will Chamberlain with... Actually, keep sell Will Chamberlain, keep Carl Anthony Towns, or Embiid, make one in your starting center. Put in Jackson as your power forward. Guess... Um, what's his name? To play at the one, Dante Axum. At the two, you've got, or at the three, you get in Hito, your MT, his diamond. At the two, if you like Jordan, or you have Jamal Crawford, so why not just use him? Or if you want a clamps player, I can go to the basket a little bit. Make yourself like a Kerry Kittles or something. Because, again, a significant, significant upgrade is going to cost you a lot of MT. But, um, yeah, actually, no, sorry, not Kerry Kittles. Get better Norman Powell. Get for 10k MT, you get, um, What's his name? Jamal Wilkes. And just tear the whole thing down. This team is a 5 out of 10. No money spent started two, three weeks ago. That is crazy. It was a grind the game a lot. Alright, run a lot of pick and pop and space the floor and post up on mix, I'm guessing mismatches for off ballers. Don't really have MT. Okay, so. Okay, there's one very, very blatant weakness in the squad. And what I would advise you to do is not run with a 4-5 combination of DeMarcus Cousins and Dwight Howard. I would sell both of them. Bradley Beal is not worth, whatever he's going for, he is not worth it. I would sell Bradley Beal. I would sell Buggy and Cash. Put in Embiid. You got Siakam. I would, obviously, when you sell three of them, you'll be able to forward a Lamar Odom. Obviously, try Evo Hito up as soon as possible. But he does fine. Um, Chris Paul is better point guard than Roman Rowe. And with that MT you got from selling those three diamonds minus your Lamar Odom money, 
Starting five is fine. Don't touch starting five. That's a nine nine point five out of ten starting five. And then at the two guard position, if you really do like Bradley Beal and you just want a shooter with no clamps, just go and get Jordan McRae. You want a defensive player, get yourself Norman Powell. And then you've also you've improved the team while also saving some MT. Okay, so now we are on to our last two players. That was I'm gonna say a because of the starting lineup being pretty much perfect, I'm gonna say a seven out of ten. Yeah, I'm gonna say an overall seven out of ten. Not a bad team. We haven't seen like this isn't even an awful team. Like this isn't a good team. This is not an awful team, and we've yet to see an awful team yet. So fair play, lads. These are actually sending in good squads, and like even again the one that I've slated the most, which is this team right here, is not like you. That's a usable team. You give me that team, and I can still win probably eighty percent of my game, but it'll just be a lot harder. Like that is not a bad team at all. It's just a little bit lacking on defense. Okay, I have 215k MT. I mostly drive in and then need to kick out for three or take the shot. What does, or you mean like drive and score or if it's not on kick out, okay. Sometimes pick and roll, such pick and pop, thanks. Okay, so you have got 215k MT. I would tell you, do not run Buddy Heald and Devante Graham at the same time. That is, go you're gonna have a bad time. Get yourself a Kyle Lowry, who is like 24k MT right now. Get him as your backup point guard. Buddy Heald, I get it, he shoots the absolute lights out, but that's like the only thing he does. I don't know who's in the Zach Levine. Oh, that's Donovan Mitchell, isn't it? And he's terrible. And I was trying to think, and it's Jokic and Mitchell, I think, so you're not really getting anyone great out of that lock-in for Levine. Um, Aiton's perfect. What I would suggest you to do is get rid of healed. If you have 215k MT, oh, it'd be a great, like, Vince is way better, Kobe's way better, Eddie Johnson, all of those players are perfect. If you really want to blow your MT, if you don't, as I always say, get Norman Powell. Um, he'll do more for you than Buddy Healed, and he's also not a uh, bait for blow buys. Like, if you guys have ever seen me against a non range or a non clowns player, I'll just blow by them. But that's kind of the only downside. Dirk Nowitzki is very slow to run a power forward. What I would suggest you to do is sell Wilt Chamberlain in a crit. Oh, I don't know. Like, Hito Turk, run Lamar Odom at the four and Hito at the three. And I don't know whether, depending on your play style, either just drop Dirk from the team completely or sell Wilt and move Dirk to the five. Depending on what you want, depending on your play style, but if you surround Dirk with four um, clamps players, he actually is not the worst rim protector in the world and runs the floor okay, as well as being much more of a shooting threat than Wilt. I just would not play Dirk at power forward. I got the power forward position. You're playing Yanis a lot of the time. You're playing Blake. You're playing Lamar Odom. You're playing Hedo, and he is going to be torched by every one of them. And sure, you can say he's going to torch them in the post. One, he's not going to torch Giannis. He's not going to torch Odom. He may torch Hito, but that is... Um, he's going to torch worse on the other end. But, um, yeah, I would not suggest running Dirk at the four. It is just... Especially against high-level teams, it is too often liability. Like, every every team we've seen so far can be, will be good enough to be casual teams. Like, like, none of these are bad teams. But, I mean, like, I'm comparing them versus my god squad, my main account in PC. And... I would, like how I would deal with this team here, starting lineup, what I would do, like Blake's not the best defender, not the worst, um, I would literally, because of my lineup, where I have Odom at the four, I would run pick and, pick and pops, Lamar Odom, or Blake Griffin to, um, or Lamar Odom to just pull Blake Griffin out and just keep shooting over him, but he's not the worst defender, off the bench, I would just turbo at your point guard or two guard and score every single time, you need a worst case scenario, like, actually, you know, you need at least your last two guys here to be two clamps players, or two of your last three to be two clamps players, the one, two, so that if you're coming up against a guy who's exposing no clamps, that you can do something about it, um, even if you don't want to get rid of him. So, I do drive and kicks, pick and pop, and a 14k MT. Is this a team I've already looked at? Okay. Um... Picking fades with Aiden. No, this is a very a fairly similar lineup to this, I guess. With Rondo at the one, Kyle Lowry. This is a this is another one of those 9.5 out of 10 teams. 
Like, looking at this lineup, you got two elite point guards. You've got four perfect wings. You've got Giannis, Blake Griffin, and Embiid Aiton. It is basically a alternate, um, an alternative version to this team right here. There is literally, like, I'm not even going to say there's a difference. They are both the exact same. They're both equally as good, and they're both constructed in the near, in the actual perfect way for your budget. So, no, don't worry, you're fine. You don't need to switch anything. Maybe, like, I don't even know the price of the Rosen. I think he's actually cheaper than Vince Carter, so he might be a better option. But no, it's a pretty much perfect team. So 9.5 out of 10. So we've gotten a lot of pretty much perfects um, in this lineup or in this the squad video. So. At least it shows you guys are sending in a lot of really, really good squads for me um, to review. And like even, again, even the worst of these squads is still usable. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.